What's going on guys and welcome to Hylian Alf Gaming. Sorry if my voice sounds a little raspy by the way, I'm kinda sick at the moment. But I'm your host Alf and grab a party hat and a slice of cake because today marks my one year anniversary on YouTube. It's been a great year, thank you all so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, all that jazz. And to celebrate this occasion, I've got something special planned. Today I'm gonna be counting down my top 10 favorite games of all time, but before we do that I should say a few things about my preferences. I don't really have one favorite game of all time or one set list of games, so a few weeks from now this list could be in a very different order than it is now based on what I've been playing. I'm sure I'll still love these games for years to come, just don't think that a year from now you'll still have concrete evidence that Back at the Barnyard for the Nintendo DS is my fourth favorite game of all time. One more thing, I'm not inherently saying I think these games are great by including them here, just that they mean something special to me or that I personally find them fun to play. That's about it though, so let's get on with the list. At number 10 we have Mario Kart Wii. I've always loved Mario Kart, and while Mario Kart 64 or Mario Kart DS could have just as easily taken this spot, I'm giving my number 10 spot to Mario Kart Wii. My first real video game was probably Mario Kart 64, but the first real console my family owned was a Wii. I didn't play that many video games as a little kid, but there was one game I remember playing a ton of other than LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga, and it was Mario Kart Wii. Many people seem to think that Wii is one of the worst Mario Kart games, and I've never really understood why. Its character roster is still Still probably the best we've ever gotten, and the game features some incredible tracks. Mario Kart Wii was also the first game to feature a satisfying amount of kart customization, except maybe Double Dash, but I never played that. The battle mode in Wii was also super fun, even without the option for stock battles, largely due to how cool some of the stages were. I even played with the motion controls, believe it or not, but that probably just goes to show how inexperienced I was as a gamer when I played it the most. You can call my love for Mario Kart Wii nostalgia, and you're absolutely right, which is why Mario Kart Wii is my 10th favorite game of all time. At number 9, we have the most recent game I've played on the list, Stardew Valley. I've never played a Harvest Moon game, and I've only played a tiny bit of Animal Crossing, but boy do I love Stardew Valley. Pelican Town is such a fun, endearing place to live, mostly due to how interesting and unique some of the characters are. It can be a lot of fun building relationships with people and making friends in Stardew Valley, but who cares about all that mushy crap, because I'm in it for the money. People are great, but when it comes to Stardew Valley, nothing is more satisfying to me than making a buttload of cash on my awesome farm. You start with this empty, overgrown grown patch of nothing, then in just a few years you have an empire of sheep and really valuable fruits and vegetables to make you millions. But really, Stardew Valley for me was one of those games that just made me happy whenever I played it, and because of that it's my ninth favorite game of all time. Okay, at number 8 we have a game that I've literally never mentioned once on this channel that I can remember, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. My love for this game probably started earlier in my life than my love of any other game on this list, but ever since I was about 3 years old I was totally obsessed with roller coasters for whatever reason. I would design them, think about them, even sketch out made up theme parks I wanted to make when I grew up, but above all I would play Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. I don't remember how old I was when I first played it, maybe as young as 4 or 5, but I've probably spent more time playing Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 and years later it's platinum version more than I've played any other game throughout my entire life. I played it on and off over the years, but there were several periods where, for weeks at a time, I would play this game for multiple hours every day. It was just so fun and satisfying for me to build awesome roller coasters and cool amusement parks, trying to see how many guests I could get in my park anything. Even though I always played in sandbox mode where money is no issue because I was a little punk, I've probably played more Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 than any other game ever. At least, I think that's true because I have no way of gauging how long I've played Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. It could be that or number 7. Brace yourselves. Number 7 on my list is Minecraft. I know, I know, this game is a tad frowned upon in the world of gaming, but I really don't know why. The graphics aren't great, but that's sort of the point, and I don't care about graphics anyway. The fanbase could be better, but that's not a fair way to judge a game if you ask me. Those are the only two flaws I can even think of for Minecraft, because Minecraft is an incredible game. It's so simple on the surface and for less experienced players. You just craft, mine, fight, and build simple structures. But if you play for long enough, it becomes an incredibly deep experience of redstone, enchanting, complex building, or anything you want. And that's why I love Minecraft, because more than in any other game, you can make, do, or be anything you want. There's no real end to Minecraft, you can just play as much or as little as you want, and all that freedom is why I think it's so special to me. The fun is practically doubled if you play with friends, which just makes my memories of playing Minecraft that much more special. I also have no way to determine exactly how much I've played Minecraft between the number of platforms I've played it on, but it's certainly a contender for my most played game ever. I love Minecraft, but there are still six games that I love even more. 
At number 6, we have Super Mario Odyssey. In case you've been living under a rock, Mario Odyssey is the most recent 3D Mario game, and I think it's really good. The kingdoms are incredibly fun to run around and explore in, and the sheer abundance of power moons to collect make for a constantly rewarding experience. Super Mario Odyssey was also the first game I was really excited for leading up to its release rather than just being excited for it after it came out, so that's always going to be something I remember. Most importantly for me about Odyssey, though, is the movement system. I like the movement in a lot of games, but if I had to pick a best controlling game of all time, it would without a doubt be Odyssey. The motion controls can be annoying, but it's so inexplicably satisfying for me to just run around and jump all over the place that I'm still blown away how they were able to make it control so well. I really love the movement in Odyssey, and the kingdoms are great too. They just aren't special enough to me to place the game any higher than number 6. Okay, those first five games were all great, but these top five are on another level. I said at the beginning of the video that my favorite games trade places a lot, and these top five games are the only five that really ever have a shot at placing as number one. These are my top five favorite games of all time, and to start the top five, we have Splatoon 2. You all know that I really like Splatoon, and I could spend hours listing all the reasons. The core ink and swimming mechanics, all the different modes, weapon variety, salmon run, there's just so much to love about Splatoon 2. I first played Splatoon on the Wii, and that would be on the list if I didn't believe it was completely and a objectively superannuated by Splatoon 2. I actually made a whole video on that topic if you're interested, but if not, that's all I have to say about Splatoon 2. It's a ton of fun, I play it a lot, so let's move on to number 4. At number 4 we have The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This game, guys. I love this game so much. I got my Switch at launch, and as soon as I got my hands on Breath of the Wild a couple days later, I hardly played or thought about anything else for weeks. I played the game whenever I could, and whenever I couldn't be playing for whatever reason, you could be sure I was watching a video about it, watching someone else play it, even just thinking about what I would do next. I love Breath of the Wild, the open world in it is one of the most fun places to traverse in any video game, and there are over 119 shrines in it to discover and solve the puzzles of. Many people point out Breath of the Wild's flawed story or dungeons, but I honestly don't have a real problem with those. I personally thought that the story was fantastic and that the dungeons and their setup made perfect sense. My judgement of these potential flaws may be clouded in part by how much I love the rest of the game, but I don't really care. Breath of the Wild is one of the most magical games I've ever played, and if I had the opportunity to play a video game again as if it were the first time, I would without hesitation play Breath of the Wild. The total immersion and wonder I felt discovering everything in Breath of the Wild for the first time around is one of the best experiences I've ever had while playing a game, which is why Breath of the Wild is my fourth favorite game of all time. For now at least, it's so hard to pick out of the top four. It could really be any one of these, I- oh just do number three already. Number 3 on my list is what you'd call a partial spoiler for my Pikmin 3 review, Pikmin 3. Unless this is the first video you've seen on my channel, you probably know that I love Pikmin more than Arlo does, and... You probably know that I love Pikmin about as much as Arlo loves Pikmin, and 95% of that is because of Pikmin 3. I'm hesitant to say too much for fear of ruining my upcoming Pikmin 3 review, but I've gotta say something, so sorry to the people who are gonna watch my Pikmin 3 review. Or just watch parts 1 and 2 right now? Anyway, Pikmin is definitely one of the weirder franchises out there, but that's part of what gives it its identity. I absolutely love how fun and unique it is to carry things around with Pikmin and sprout more Pikmin, and more than any other major collectible in the series, I love collecting fruit. They just look so tasty and it feels like I'm really accomplishing something for the team whenever I find one. That's enough Pikmin 3 though, my review's gonna come out real soon if you want more, but let's get on to number 2. At number 2 we have The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. HD, but I'm saying Wind Waker. The Wind Waker is one of the most beloved Zelda games, and I can absolutely see why. The art style is great, the characters are incredibly unique and funny, and the feeling of adventure you get when traversing the Great Sea is truly remarkable. While they aren't the most highly regarded in the series, I really love the dungeons in Wind Waker, and even though it's almost an entirely linear experience, it still manages to come across as incredibly fun and explorative. I'd been what I would call a serious gamer for a few months at the time I first played Wind Waker, but Wind Waker was the first time I really felt the sense of going on an adventure in a video game. I know I've thrown this term around a lot in this video, but Wind Waker was the first time I felt magic in a video game. It wasn't the first video game I got into by any means, but it was the first one to really give me that adventurous, magical feeling that video games can give. It may or may not be the best, again these top 4 games or so could realistically go in any order for me, but Wind Waker was a pretty huge first for me, which is why it's my current second favorite game of all time. Before we look at number one, place your bets down in the comments below as to what it will be. I'm very curious to see what all you come up with, and I'm certain almost none of you will correctly guess it. Alright, number one is Super Mario 64. I know this may be surprising, seeing as I only gave it a 6 out of 10 in my review, and I think the other most popular N64 game is awful, but allow me to explain. 
Super Mario 64 is obviously a bit glitchy and unpolished in its design, and this is an obvious flaw. I can't say for sure, but a new player might have just as much difficulty beating Mario 64 for the first time as they would Ocarina of Time with how vague the objectives are in both games. This isn't a list of the best games of all time though, or even necessarily the goodest games of all time. These are my favorite games of all time, and despite its flaws, I love Super Mario 64. Now that I understand everything about the game and its objectives, I think it's a blast to run around and collect all the stars in, or even just mess around. Unlike other games that have similar flaws to Mario 64, Mario is just fun to move around in and explore to me. Even though I think Mario Odyssey has the best controls and moveset of any 3D Mario game, 64 definitely has the controls I'm most used to because I speedrun Mario 64 a little bit. More importantly than all that other stuff though, the biggest reason why I placed Mario 64 as my favorite game of all time is for what it did for me as a whole. I've dabbled in gaming for pretty much my whole life, but I never used to play very much or consider myself a gamer. I had also played a few minutes of Mario 64 every now and again ever since I was a little tyke, but again, I wasn't really that into video games. A couple years ago though, for whatever reason, I decided to actually sit down and play Super Mario 64 from start to finish, and it was incredible. Mario 64 was the first game I ever beat, and ever since then I've been the half-decent gamer I am today. From its history in gaming, to my speedrunning experience, to the fact that it's the first game I ever beat, Super Mario 64 is just an incredibly special game to me. It's not the best game in the world by any means, but at the moment I'd have to say it's my favorite game of all time. Thanks for watching everyone! Once again, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of you for watching my videos throughout the past year. Whether you've been here for 12 months or for 12 minutes, I want to thank all of you just for watching, as the awesome support from you guys is most of what keeps me making videos. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and let's see where Hylian Alf Gaming goes in year 2! Have a great day!